Well, it's always exciting when you have such a high-level Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. This man has been a master of the submission in the UFC, and even though a lot of people know what's coming, more often than not, they're unable to stop. Because the knowledge, the knowledge of the jiu-jitsu game is truly something that it's hard to replicate when a guy is as good as he is. I mean, he will jump for a triangle. He will jump for an arm bar. And as you slam him to the ground, he starts to understand, OK, I'm right where I need you right now. This is when the game starts for him. If he doesn't secure that submission, he gets you where he needs you to be in order to start to really make you drown. It's like going in deep water oh. and getting pulled down over and over again because every time you think, if I do this, it'll make it better, it just makes it worse. And best of luck trying to find a training partner to simulate this guy in the gym. It can't happen, and it won't happen. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 23 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of the tall Brazil, Juscia Formiga. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with round one, and fear is not a factor for this. He feels so confident in all of his skills. He don't care what John, what got, John, what it doesn't matter. John, it doesn't matter. It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's just a different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by an ever-improving juicy A for me. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. He is all about that left kick to the body. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Real sneaky body kick. 
Bleeding from his cheek now. And he landed the right hand there. Formiga gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. Big head kick. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Formiga. Strong kick to the outside of that leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing to land it with so much force. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. The big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Uppercut counter, that'll work. Goes back to that left kick once again. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevented from landing. Watch knees to the body. Nice punch. Nice punch there by Formiga. Oh, that's a good right hand. See him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. And that one certainly found the target. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Trying to connect now with the overhand left. No good. Oh, collar tie. Nice punch in that over the top. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh! Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, he comes right back to his face. Head kick lands. Goes to the body there. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High number Ready? of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Straight punch lands. Oh, a huge block there. Omega gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Just missed with the leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just misses 
with that big right hand. Oh, beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Nice punch lands. Formiga's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. What a body kick. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Caught that kick there. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Formiga's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make them pause. I believe the jab is working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Good stick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Formiga's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Your face. Hands up. Oh, high amplitude head kick! Oh, that's a nice strike. And they separate. Back to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Formiga's face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. Spinning back fist. He gets hit with a kick here, that one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Punch landed with so much power. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body. Nice one, two there. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Wow, what a head kick. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Round three next. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it take an effect. Well, 
Now, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Land. Formiga's cut on his nose is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Nice strike. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Looping left hand misses the target. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right hand upstairs. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, man. That, he jumped out of your seat a little bit after that. Oh, oh. It up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Slips the left hand. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Just over three minutes to go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Just missed with the left there. Formiga's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Big kick. down there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter who's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Nice head kick. Right punches there. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Lee getting looked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Close guard. Back to the feet. He's got the turtles in that kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. <laughs> Formiga gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Beautiful punch. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round.
All right, so a big round for him there, maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeVing is called to stop to this contest at 36 seconds of round number four. Join the winner by knockout, Bruce. The All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And got to be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public tonight.